tau sub 1 and tau sub 2 be topologies on capital X, you have to prove that the intersection tau sub 1 intersected with tau sub 2 is also a topology on X. So proof. To do this, we'll just go through the definition of a topology. So the first thing we have to show is that X and the empty set are both in this set. So since the empty set is in tau 1, and this is true because tau 1 is a topology on X, and the empty set is in tau 2, and this is likewise true because tau 2 is a topology on X, we have that the empty set is in the intersection. So that condition checks. Likewise, we can do the same thing with capital X. We know that capital X, well, this is in tau 1 because tau 1 is a topology on X. And capital X is in tau sub 2 because tau sub 2 is a topology on capital X. So as before, capital X is in the intersection. So the first condition was pretty easy to show. For the second condition, we have to show that the union of any number of open sets in the intersection is also in the intersection. So take any collection of sets or open sets in tau 1 intersected tau 2. So we're taking any collection of sets in this intersection and we have to show that the union is in the intersection. Well then, for each alpha in our index set I, we have O sub alpha. Well, if it's in the intersection, O sub alpha is in tau 1 and O sub alpha is in tau 2. These are, these are actually open sets in tau sub 1 and in tau sub 2. So then, the union of these open sets, well, the union lies in tau sub 1 because these are open sets in the first topology, tau sub 1, and so the union of any number of open sets should also live inside tau sub 1. And the union of these open sets well, as before, these are open sets in tau sub 2, and so the union of these open sets should also be inside of tau sub 2, because again, it's a topology on X. So that this means that the union is actually in the intersection. So the union of the O sub alphas is actually in the intersection. So that takes care of the second condition. And the third condition is pretty much um, exactly the same. The proof is almost identical. The third condition, we have to show that any finite number of open sets in the intersection is also in the intersection. So take any, so take any, <laughs> O1 dot 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 O sub n in the intersection, open sets, then all of these guys are in tau sub 1, and all of these guys are also in tau sub 2. Okay, so we have a finite number of open sets in tau sub 1. That means that their intersection is also in tau sub 1 because tau sub 1 is a topology on X. And here we have a finite number of open sets in tau sub 2. So their intersection also lies in tau sub 2 because tau sub 2 is a topology. So the intersection is in tau sub 1, the intersection is in tau sub 2, so the intersection, a crazy notation, or fun notation, so the intersection is in tau sub 1 intersected tau sub 2. It's always fun to have like these big intersection symbols. All right, so that was uh, pretty easy, and that completes the proof. So we showed that x and the empty set are in the intersection. We showed that the union of any number of open sets is also in the intersection. And we showed that any finite intersection of open sets is in our intersection. So tau sub 1 intersected with tau sub 2 is a topology on capital X.